Hey everybody, this is my preview of the 2021 Kansas State football season. So here it goes. Uh, first off, I will go over the depth chart and give you my opinions on who should be the uh, starters and all that. So here it goes. Uh, the offense returns uh, 10 starters. That's pretty good. Uh, the quarterbacks, uh, two players return this year with starting experience in Skylar Thompson and Will Howard. Uh, Skylar Thompson is a six-year senior with, and Will Howard uh, is a sophomore, I think. Uh, Skylar Thompson uh, got hurt in the third or fourth game last year, and Will Howard uh, filled, uh, filled in for the rest of the season. Uh, both of them Last year combined for 12 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and 1,857 yards. And that needs to be improved. Uh, they, need, they, need, they need to cut down on the interceptions and improve on uh, completions and uh, completion average and accuracy. They need to uh, uh, improve on that, in my opinion. I think Skylar Thompson will be the starting quarterback, with Will Howard being the backup. Uh, the running backs, I think this year they'll go with the running back by committee with Deuce Vaughn, Joe Irvin, Keon Maisie, and Jer Cardia Wright. Uh, I think those will be the four main running backs this year with Deuce Vaughn as the starting running back. Uh, and Joe... Irvin opted back, uh, is coming back this year after opting out last year. Uh, for, uh, so I think they'll go with uh, commi uh, running back by committee. The uh, fullback, I think, will be Jax Deneen. I think he'll be the fullback this year. Uh, the receivers, this, the wide right receivers, is my biggest concern this year. Uh, last year, uh, the uh, they went through a, a swarm of uh, like a uh, uh, merry-go-round of receivers last year. Uh, starting uh, as going a merry-go-round of starter, starters at wide right receiver last year. Uh, and the leading one and the leading receiver was Deuce Vaughn. A running back was the leading receiver last year, all, as well as the leading what. As a as the leading rusher, our running back was the leading leading was a leading rusher and receiver last year, so the receivers need to step up this year. And the four uh, receivers I think should be uh, the leaders in that is Malik Knowles, Sebastian Taylor, Philip Brooks, and Keenan Garber. I think those will be the four starting receivers this year. I think they should uh, step, be the leaders, and step up and and help lead the receiving core this year, and have them step up and be a bigger contribution to the offense this year. Because you can't just rely on one player to do both, as be both receiver and a rusher. So the receiving core needs to step up. And the four players, the four, the four receivers I named should be the leaders in that. Uh, so the tight ends. Uh, the tight ends, I think, will be Nick Lenners and Daniel Emmator Behibi. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. That's a oh, weird name. Uh, so I think those would be the two main tight ends this year. Uh, the offensive line uh, for the centers, I have uh, either Noah Johnson and Ben Adler. Uh, I think either one of them will be the center this year. I think they both have starting experience. Uh, for the left tackle, I got Cooper Baby. B uh, for the left guard, I got Josh... Rivas, for the right guard, I got Taylor P 
Portier, Portier. Uh, and for the right tackle, I got Christian Duffy. Uh, so those are the, I think, the starters for the offense. And the big loss, the key loss for the offense is Riley Moore at tight end. So overall, the offense needs to step up and become a better unit overall. Because we can't be calling the same plays over and over again, expecting the same result. And expecting teams to fall for it every single time. So the coaches needs to make a better game plan and be more creative. We can't do the same thing over and over and over again. Every play, every snap, and every game. Because teams will figure it out. Every team will figure it out if you do the same thing over and over again. We... We, the offense became one-dimensional last year. In the second half of the season, it became one-dimensional. So the coaches need to come up with a better game plan. And, and also develop the players more. They need, the players need more development. It doesn't look like... Part of the time, some of the time, it looks like look. It looks like the players haven't developed any, in my opinion. So, overall, the offense needs to have a better game plan. The coaches need to have a better game plan and develop the players on offense. The offensive coaches. The defense. The defense returns six starters. Uh, for the defensive ends, I got Khalid, Khalid Duke and Bronson Massey as the defensive end. Starters for the defensive end. For the, the defensive tackles, I got Timmy Horn and Eli Huggins as the starters. For the middle linebacker, I got Daniel Green. And for the outside linebacker, I got... Uh, Corey Ketcher, Kelcher, I think that's his name, or Cody, Cody Kelcher, excuse me, as a, as a offensive, outside linebacker, starter, uh, for the cornerbacks, I got Julius Brents and the Cowboy Doe, as the cornerbacks, starters for the quarterback, cornerbacks, for the nose Nose back, I got TJ Smith uh, as a starter for the nose back or nickel back. Sorry, for the strong safety, I got Jerron uh, McPherson, and for the free safety, I got Russ Yeast uh, as the starters, and for the kicker, kick and punter, kicker and punter, I got Ty. Uh, Zent Zentner. So those are my uh, uh, my bit, my opinion on who sh who should be the starters for, on the defense. For the key losses, we lost Wyatt Hubert, Elijah Sullivan, Justin Hughes, and AJ Parker. Those are the key losses on defense. And for the coaches, it's basically the same thing what I said about the offensive coaches. You need more development, develop the players more, and have a good game plan. Have a better game plan. If we want to win games, we need to have a good game plan every game. We need a different game plan for every game. Because every game is different. This is for both coaching, uh, coaches on both sides of the ball. Have a Good, have a good game plan, a different game plan, have a good and different game plan every single game. Because every game is different. Because every team is different. So, and the coaches need to develop the players more, better. Because at times, the players looked horrible last year. 
because it looked like horrible out of place and all that. So the coaches need to develop the players more and get them situated to play play the best, be the best as they. They need to develop them and um, and set them up to uh, succeed in the position they are in. They need to develop develop them because at times it doesn't look like it. Look, it doesn't look like the players are fully de don't look re really good. So overall, the coach coaching staff needs to do better. And if they do that. We can win games this year. And talking about winning games, oh, let's go on to the schedule. Uh, I have K State going eight and four this year, uh, five and four in the conference. Uh, the first game is on September fourth uh, against Stanford and Arlington, Texas. Uh, I think. K State could win a close one against Stanford. Uh, Stanford didn't look so hot last year, uh, or the last couple years, but I think K State will, will edge out Stanford this year and get a win. Uh, the next uh, the next game is against Southern Illinois on September 11th. Uh, this will be our first home game. Uh, Southern, yeah, against Southern Illinois, I think we'll beat them handily. Uh, I think we'll beat beat them by double digits, by like two or three touchdowns easily. I think. Uh, I don't think it'll be close. So I think we'll beat Southern Illinois. Uh, next we got Nevada at home on September eighteenth. Uh, Nevada's been. Uh, good last few years, I think. Uh, but I think I think this will be a close game uh, within ten points. I think. But I think K State will win. Uh, next up, we're at Oklahoma State, our first road game on September twenty fifth, and uh, and I think Oklahoma State will beat us. Uh, I think K State beat Oklahoma State and Stillwater once this century. So I think that will continue. Uh, I think Oklahoma State will give K State their first loss of the season. So uh, I think we'll lose to Oklahoma State. Next, we got Oklahoma on September second. Uh, K State has Oklahoma's number the last two years. Uh, Oklahoma is looking uh, for their seventh conference championship. In a row this year, I think it's seventh, and a spot at, and a spot in the national championship playoffs. Uh, I think K State will get an upset this year. I got another upset against Oklahoma this year, and make it three in a row this year. Make it three in a row this year. So I think K State will upset Oklahoma in a really close game. Uh, so I think we'll win. Then we got a bye. Then we got Iowa State at home on October sixteenth. Uh, I think Iowa State will beat K State this year. Uh, I don't think it will be a blowout like it was last year, but I think it will be a lot closer. Uh, so I, th I think Iowa State will win. I think we'll lose. So that'll be our second loss of the season. Then on. Uh, this is October twenty third. We're at Texas Tech. Uh, we have we have we have Texas Tech's number for the last decade, and I think it will continue this year. And I think we'll win against Texas Tech. Uh, then we got TCU on October thirtieth, night before Halloween. Uh, I think this will be a a big treat. Uh, it'll be a close game. Like it was last year, but I think we'll win as well. Uh, then, then we're at then we're at Kansas on November sixth, and I think we'll win for the thirteenth straight time over Kansas in a 
and then I think it will be a blowout. Uh, next, we got West Virginia on the 13th of November, and I think West Virginia will, will win. Will win. Uh, West Virginia had our number for the last six years, I think, five or six years, and I think it will continue this year as they beat us. Uh, at, although as they will beat K State. Uh, the next we got Baylor on November twentieth. Uh, Baylor last year got a, won by a squeaker, uh, but this year I think we'll get revenge and beat Baylor. Uh, then our final game is at Texas on November twenty seventh, and Texas. As our number, uh, as our number for the last five years, I think. Uh, but I think it will continue, and I think Texas will win. So overall, uh, I got K State going eight and four, uh, five and four in the conference. I think it will be improve, improvement on, for, improvement on last year. So uh, that's about it for me. So uh, go State and Ema.